Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Lady Ruth and I'm so excited to be back and I really wanted to come talk to y'all on this topic because quite a few you guys indicate that you guys are courting, dating a pastor. And if you are also dating, courting a minister, then this is also for you. I really hope that this bless you and um, let's get right into it. So this is six steps, six important steps that you need to know when you are courting a pastor or a minister. All right. So step number one, and I'm looking here because I have my other phone. So step number one, he should make his intentions clear. If he's serious about you, then he should make his intentions clear. It shouldn't be like, does he really like me? Or is he really wanting to... Um, go through with this courtship you shouldn't be trying to feel him out at this point or you shouldn't try to be reading between the lines at this point he should already make his intentions clear that he has this interest in you and he wants to further this relationship so number two you both should agree to court with the goal to marry Okay, so once again, these are the proper steps, the proper way to date a pastor. I like to use the word court, okay, because courtship, it's different. So number two, you both should come to an agreement that this is the relationship that you want and you want to be in a courtship relationship with the intentions of getting married. Once again, everything should be clear. It shouldn't be where he's picking you up, bringing you on dates, and there is no intentions of courting you. There is no intentions of what's really next. Make the intention clear. It should be clear, okay? So he should make the intention clear. And you both should come in agreement that this is what you want. You want to be able to court each other in a relationship to be married. Number three is accountability and setting goals to work towards marriage. This is extremely important. You all, I'm, I cannot express enough how many people, many women have been hurt by men of God where they're bringing them on, you know, on dates, they're buying them things, but nobody knows that they're talking. There is no accountability. There is no one that is there to check them to say, hey, okay, what's going on? What's the next step? Okay, all right, you said that you are, um, you all want a court to be married. All right, so when are you guys thinking about getting married? It's very important that you have a few accountability partners. So one of those accountability partners should be like, for instance, maybe you're the senior pastor. If you're, if, if you're courting a pastor, maybe he has a senior pastor that is before him, or maybe he is the senior pastor. So maybe he has a, a bishop uh, before him, which I would hope so. You need very, very important that there are some kind of accountability that you're not in this relationship and it's not being unknown to no one and there's no one holding you accountable towards the the next step you don't want to be in a relationship that you think is going towards marriage but it's really not because too many women are in relationships with no direction you don't want to be that woman. Selfie. Number four is do not put yourself in compromising positions. Accountability partners are very necessary. Okay, and this kind of flows with number three. But number four, who is that person? Maybe it's another couple, actual married couple that can hold y'all accountable. If you're going out on dates, maybe you can do a couple double dates and try to avoid going on alone dates too much, okay? You gotta be careful. The flesh is the flesh. 
you got to be careful. So it's very, very important if it's your best friends that's keeping you all accountable to make sure that you guys are keeping it pure, keeping it holy, keeping it right. Okay. So number five is you should have at least your bishop or accountability partner leader that you both can go to when there is an issue. So the bishop or the pastor that is in agreement to marry you all, to bring you all through this courtship process, you should keep that person very close to you guys. When it comes on to issues, don't tell your best friend everything. They don't need to know everything. Don't tell your mom, your dad, everything. Don't tell your business to everyone. Remember that you're courting a pastor. So you want to be careful, especially if you're in the same congregation. You want to be extremely intentional with your emotions. You got to get, get it, hold it together. And you got to be very intentional with your move. So you can't just scream out, you know, how you're feeling and show your emotions, weigh them on your sleeves. You want to be able to have that accountability person, the person that is going to marry you guys. Normally they would have you guys going through a marriage counseling process, a premarital counseling process. So you want to be able to, to check in with that person. If there's any issues that you both can't solve, um, cause not all issues need to resolve in not ending up getting married. So make sure you have that person, that bishop, that marriage premarital counselor to be able to talk, you know, back and forth too. All right, so number six, number six, and I really hope that you guys love this video because I see that so many of you guys are courting pastors or courting a minister, and you really wanna know, you know, what is the right steps or, or, you may not be in courtship yet, but you're talking, you're talking to a pastor or a minister and you want to know how to get to the next step and what are those steps. So if you really like this video, thumbs up. And if you want more videos along this line, comment below and let me know what questions you have and I will definitely answer them. All right. So number six, it is remember the goal is to court to be married sometimes we end up in relationships and we forget that the main objective of this relationship especially if you are a child of god and we're talking about you're dating a pastor you're dating you know a minister you're dating a bishop who knows you're you're dating a man of god it's very important for you to know that the end results is to lead to what marriage. You're not just dating someone not to court them and not to get into marriage. We're not playing right. We're not playing around with our spiritual lives here. So it's very important. Make your intentions know, known. Um, be very observant. He should express his intentions towards this relationship with you. And you both should be working towards getting married. All right, guys, this is Lady Ruth. I really, really hope that you all enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so much. Thank you all new subscribers for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it and God bless. Bye.